Hey, what is up everybody? I'm outside with my new uh, patio pond, uh, well, deck pond. Uh, just constructed out of some uh, basic storage containers that uh, I use a lot in the basement for uh, growing the immersed plants. Uh, these are black because obviously clear containers outside would just be a very, very happy place for algae. Um, but, uh, so yeah, it's just a three-tier containers, uh, which starts uh, up on the top with this container, the smallest one. Uh, I've got a pump from the bottom going into this one. Uh, it's just one pump controlling that frog spitter and uh, the container itself. Uh, move this plant, this frog. Uh, uh, on top of this container, it's uh, just a few things. There's a uh, piece of driftwood, which I have no other place to put, so I just put it up there. Uh, some Rotala Rotifundula, which I found at a, uh, a garden store in, in its already immersed form, flowering uh, near a pond section. So if you're really looking for some Rotala uh, in its immersed form, or just cheap rotala. Uh, you might want to check out those like side of the road uh, garden stores that I just happened to find some rotala there, so I was lucky. Um, and a pitcher plant on the far left side. Uh, it's a carniv carnivorous plant. Uh, in there we have uh, basically nothing. There are some anti mosquito uh, little pond tablets that are floating around inside of that uh, container. But it's basically just the tubing for uh, the frog and the pump um, that eventually ends up cascading down to the second container, which I'll move closer for. The second container, uh, the second container is what, like twice, two and a half times as large as the top one, and let it focus for a second. And in here is basically nothing other than plants. Um, there's an Echinodorus altmanosa, um, one of my only immersed ones. Actually, I think it is my last immersed, uh, immersed specimen of this plant uh, species, but obviously I can just get some more with the uh, ones that are underwater right now. Uh, so I've got that. So I have uh, the Rotala Rotundula from that plant uh, that I portioned off and put it in a little pot. Uh, in that pot with it, there's Listeria and Hydrocotyl Japarta. Um, as you can see, that's where the water from the frog is landing. Uh, I've put the pot there mostly to just help uh, soften the landing of the water so it doesn't splash around as much. Uh, there's also that dragonfly uh, light that the solar powered comes on during the night. And in the back side of this container, uh, this side there is a uh, net, uh, a net holding back some uh, uh, sphagnum moss, uh, which I'm using to keep down the pH because the tap water uh, in my area is relatively high. It's like 8.4, 8.5, so it's like African cichlid high. Uh, so I just keep it in there to keep the pH down uh, when I need to use the hose instead of RO water. Uh, pretty much it for this container. As you can see, I just cut a little hole in the top of it and left the rest, uh, rest of the top on so I could uh, keep the container. Uh, I was going to make a construction video for this, but I ran out of battery and I had no idea where the charger was, so my bad. Uh, last container is here. And this is the largest of them all, obviously. And uh, in here, it's uh, got the most stuff along with that. Uh, there are rocks found there, uh, basically some pebbles, uh, and some colored glass pebbles. Uh, in here, the planting is uh, reiki flutins, uh, which are floating around duckweed and frog bit. There's also some reiki red that's uh, just floating around. But uh, also in here, we have, we'll move this plant out of the way so you can see everything. Uh, did not expect that. Whatever. We have some 
plants that I stole from downstairs. Um, there are two Echinodorus, Echinodorus ruchibachis or Echinodorus flares um, that were growing off the mother plant downstairs in the Bichardi tank. There's one plantlet of Sagittarius, uh, I'm not sure which species, but it is a Sagittarius. Um, there are about three or four stems of uh, Storgon repens vari variation Augustifolia. Uh, so it's kind of like the thin leaf uh, variation that's also downstairs in the 65 gallon uh, Garden of the Roots. And uh, there's some Java moss and some Rotala Rose Fundula down there as well. Uh, the container, the sediment in the container is basically just uh, somewhat random layers of uh, aqua soil, AD, uh, aqua design of mono's aqua soil, uh, regular old just rock pebbles on the top. Uh, there's some fluorite, some secan fluorite in there, and there might be some dirt. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, it's basically just a concoction for all the other uh, containers that weren't being used at the moment. Uh, I threw in there. Uh, the filter is a pond filter. I don't know. I think it's made by Pond Master. Uh, it's basically just uh, a pump connected to a big pad filter with a carbon filter on the bottom. Uh, it's rated for about 1,000 ga 1, gallons, so I've got plenty of time before I have to replace that. Uh, especially considering this is definitely not anywhere near 1,000 gallons, uh, or even 100 gallons for that. Uh, but that's it for the most of the mechanical stuff. There's a, uh, right here, there's a small little container I found when I was uh, buying the containers for the pond at the container store. Uh, it's like a acrylic box, I guess, that you, I guess you would use for pencils or whatever. Uh, it's got a bunch of holes in it, and I figured out if you use a magnet, uh, a two-sided magnet like one of those uh, algae scrapers that you can magnetize and just keep on the side of your tank, uh, I used that to support it, and it's kind of like a little breeding nursery, so the guppies, oh right, I forgot to mention there are like six guppies in here, but uh, the guppies can swim in and out. Um, if I put shrimp in here, this shrimp can swim in and out. So it's uh, wide enough for things to swim in and out, but also small enough to be able to hide in there. Some of the plants around it, uh, I have no idea what the names are, so you'll just have to, I guess, figure out what those are on your own. But uh, some vines crawling up the side. Uh, this is about, this container is maybe maybe a week old by now. Uh, the plant, actually no, it's probably only like a couple days old. It's not, not a full week yet. Uh, I had another con design before this that uh, I decided to change and go with these containers. Uh, yeah looking pretty nice. Uh, what I'm planning to do for the outside plants, or the plants, the not pond plants, uh, I've got two uh, planters behind uh, the pond and plenty on the sides. So hopefully uh, the ones behind it I'm trying to grow uh, to cover up the wall of the house, which is not very visually appealing. Uh, as plants are, uh, especially with a pond. Uh, yeah. That's it. See you guys next time. Aquatic Master, signing out.